Hi you guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brad, this is the Firefighters Financial Toolbox. I always talk about fees and I've just found a new tool. This is on the FINRA website uh, and this is their fund analyzer tool. So I thought it'd be fun to just plug in some funds and see, to be able to show you the difference in cost. So I'm just looking at their list here and let's go down, let's just find, uh, let's see, something that's a little bit expensive. So how about a mid-cap growth fund. All right, the first one we see here is the Alger mid-cap focused class A fund. Now, if we want to talk about a Vanguard fund, and I like Vanguard, so let's do the Vanguard uh, Vanguard mid-cap growth fund. That's ticker symbol VMGRX. And we'll put that in there. And we'll analyze the two of these really quickly. Now, first thing we see is there's a little, there's a big discrepancy in our annual expenses. With the Vanguard fund, we're going to spend about, now let's see, this is based on a $10,000 contribution over 10 years at a 7% return, okay? So the future value of this one would be 16700 but the future value of the other one is 19000 And this is where the cost comes in. So there's a couple of things here we got looking. Because this is a front load fund, we have $525 off of our 10,000 that comes out right away. And then our annual expenses are 1,354 versus a straight $476.94 for that. So if we look down here, let's see if the this is over this is a 1.06 and the average is actually higher than that so this isn't a super expensive fund in this particular space uh, we see that the Vanguard fund costs 0.34 percent and the average again is over one percent so let's see what we got annual cost 477 but look at the difference in how this goes in the long run you guys we start off not paying so much but as our uh, balances go up those amounts just keep going up. So let's see if we took the same fund. Now you know at Vanguard, and again, I'm not selling a Vanguard completely, but Vanguard has two share classes. And if you have the Admiral shares, they actually cost less. So if we go VMGMX, oops, sorry, VMGMX, which is the same fund, only the Admiral shares, now let's take a look at that. We notice the expense ratio there is 0.07%. So $7 on $10,000. let us take a look at the analyzation now. And this fund costs us about less than $100 a month for the same fund, you guys. Now, with the Admiral shares, generally you have to have at least $10,000 invested to get the lower cost. And with the investor shares, you have to have $3,000. So that can be, that can affect you, but early on, even if you don't have the full cost, once you hit 10,000, they will automatically shift you to Admiral shares, which as we can see, are substantially lower. Now let's get back to this charge I talked about here in the beginning. Because it's a front loaded fund, it takes a percentage of your initial investment and it costs you that to get it. Now if it was a back load fund, it would be the opposite. If you decided to sell this for whatever reason, you would have to pay. And usually it's based on how long you've held the fund. Um, but this is a perfect example, you guys, of just how in just 10 years. Now let's see if we change this to 20 years. I want to see how much, how much more significant the amount would come out to be. All right. So there you go. Over 20 years, your total cost for one fund will be $42.75. The other one would be $13.83, and the last one would be under $300, you guys. Um, and we see coming down here the differences. You see the Admiral shares just barely creeps up. Even the investor shares over time, I mean, you're, get, you're getting up to year 20, you've paid almost $1,400. But if we look up here, we're over $4,200, almost $4,300, you guys. This is a big example of why I say fees are the only thing you can control. Now, I don't know if one of these funds outperformed the other. I am at, well, The two uh, Vanguard funds are identical. They're the same fund, and they're index funds. So I imagine they performed 
pretty much the same. Now, did the Alger Fund, because it's a, a active managed fund, outperform? I don't know. We'd have to look at that in another in another thing. But I don't think it outperformed by uh, enough to make up the difference, which ends up being between the Vanguard Admiral shares. It's almost nine thousand dollars in difference over the twenty years. So I'm not sure it can make that up. What do you guys think? What kind of funds do you use? Do you think about fees when you buy your funds? I think you should. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, do me a favor. Drop me a like. If you're not already subscribed, you know the deal. Hit the red button, ring the bell. All right, we'll see you.